This coming Monday, June 20th, the United Nations will mark World Refugee Day in the shadow of what the UN says is the largest displacement crisis since the Second World War. VOA UN correspondent Margaret Bashir has more. Before Russia invaded Ukraine in February, the UN Refugee Agency says there were already 89 million forcibly displaced persons worldwide. With the Ukrainian exodus, the number now tops 100 million. Remember, we are now all focused on Ukraine very much, but Ukraine comes after a line of other emergencies. We the agency's new Global Trends report says that five crises last year accounted for nearly 70 percent of all displaced people. They are from Syria, Venezuela, Afghanistan, South Sudan, and Myanmar. In Afghanistan, 24 million people need humanitarian aid. The economy is in tatters, and the Taliban is imposing more restrictions on women and girls. UNHCR says all these pressures have pushed 2.7 million Afghans to leave. So people are crossing the borders, sometimes with visas, but most of the time without, without visas and without documentation, sometimes up to 20,000 people a day. Many people flee to neighboring countries. More than one million have left Ukraine for safety in Poland. People, refugees, they flee not as far as possible from the conflict, but as close as possible. And they return not as late as possible, but as early as possible. Only 5.7 million internally displaced persons and refugees returned home or to their place of origin in 2021. The focus for this year's World Refugee Day on June 20th is the right to seek safety. Richer nations have mixed records on welcoming refugees and asylum seekers. The High Commissioner for Refugees says he hopes those nations now understand the relationship between bombs and flight. People flee because they're afraid. It's not just the Ukrainians. The Syrians have fled bombs. Uh, people in Tigray have fled bombs. Uh, people in the Sahel flee either bombs or uh, vicious attacks. So. Fear of insecurity is the same whether you are a Ukrainian or a, a Nicaraguan. Shaken by fear and uncertainty, and Irina Morikovas fled Ukraine with her son soon after Russia invaded, leaving her husband behind. We took just the most important things and crossed the border. Now in the Netherlands, Morika Voss, an artist, has collaborated with UNHCR on this year's World Refugee Day Twitter emoji. When we open... Um, a door of our house to people who need it, or refugees, for example, who need help, we like open our heart because house is heart of the family. For tens of millions of refugees and displaced people worldwide, they also hope to find a safe and warm welcome.